Good morning, America. New this morning under investigation. Were there other sheriff's deputies who did not enter that Florida high school when Nicholas Cruz allegedly opened fire? Plus, what a caller appearing to be Cruz told 911 three months before the massacre. The thing is, I lost my mother a couple of weeks ago. So, like, I'm dealing with a bunch of things right now. And the tipster who was worried Cruz would shoot up a school. Guns in schools. President Trump renewing his call for teachers to be armed. If there are guns inside, held by the right people, by highly trained professionals, you're going to see this end. He says a gun-toting teacher could be better than an armed security officer. Pleading guilty, the former Trump campaign aide Rick Gates striking a deal with the special counsel Robert Mueller, the third former Trump associate, to flip what it means for former campaign chair Paul Manafort and the Russia investigation. And Olympic history, the American curling team and their brush with greatness, hammering home a victory for its first gold medal, a silver in snowboarding with Ivanka Trump cheering on. Live from ABC News in New York, this is Good Morning America. Good morning, everybody. We're going to begin here with a major new development in the investigation into the massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. You are looking live at the school in Parkland, Florida this weekend. Parents, teachers, and students will be returning for an orientation before classes officially resume next week. But as the school prepares to reopen, there are new questions about how local sheriff's deputies responded to the attack. We learned on Friday that the deputy assigned to protect the school did not enter the building or engage with the shooter. And overnight, a new development. The sheriff tells ABC News that he's investigating reports that three other deputies who responded to the scene, they also failed to enter that building. All this against the backdrop of an escalating national debate over guns and school safety. President Trump doubling and tripling down on his call to arm teachers. The governor of Florida, meanwhile, bucking the NRA, calling to raise the age limit to buy firearms of any kind. We do have team coverage this morning, but we begin here with the latest out of Parkland from ABC's Victor Okendo. Victor, good morning to you. Good morning, Paula and Dan. According to those reports, those claims were made by officers from the Coral Springs Police Department. Both Coral Springs PD and the Broward Sheriff's Office, along with other agencies, were here on scene the day of the shooting. They worked together and they continue to do so. But now Broward Sheriff Scott Israel tells me he is looking into those claims made by those officers. And if he finds any wrongdoing, he'll deal with it. This morning, the Broward Sheriff's Office now investigating reports that three other deputies, in addition to Scott Peterson, stayed outside of Stoneman Douglas High School as Nicholas Cruz allegedly opened fire. Sheriff Scott Israel tells ABC News that on the video he's reviewed, he did not see any other deputies outside the school along with Peterson. This news comes as we learn more about Cruz. The thing is, I lost my mother a couple of weeks ago. So, like, I'm dealing with a bunch of things right now. The 911 call appearing to be the voice of Cruz just three months before he allegedly opened fire in the Florida school, taking the lives of 17 students and educators. Just moments earlier, another 911 call. This one by the woman who had taken in Cruz after his mother died. There was a fight in my house. Um, the kid and uh, my son. Okay, I'm punching him and I'm afraid he comes back and he has a lot of weapons. He put the gun in the head of his brother before, so it's not the first time. And he did that to his mom. According to the sheriff's office, before those incidents, they responded to Cruz's former Parkland home, a total himself. This morning, new questions about missed warning signs. ABC News obtaining the transcript of the tipster who called the FBI last month. The female caller telling the FBI Cruz was, quote, going to explode, saying she was worried about him getting into a school and just shooting the place up. The FBI has admitted to failing to follow up on the tip. This wasn't the first missed sign. In February of 2016, Broward Sheriff's Office is told by an anonymous caller that Cruz had threatened on Instagram to shoot up his school. The information sent to school resource deputy Scott Peterson. And in September 2016, Peterson is informed that Cruz had possibly been suicidal and wanted to buy a gun. Five days later, an investigator from the Florida Department of Children and Families rules Cruz is stable. 
And we're also hearing from the Coral Springs Police Department. They say that what those officers claimed in those reports were not official statements mm -hmm. from the police department. They continue working with the Broward Sheriff's Office in this ongoing investigation. Still, Stay those children were failed on so many levels. Victor, thanks for your reporting this morning. And President Trump is publicly slamming the deputy who didn't engage the shooter in Parkland, calling him a coward. The president argues armed teachers could do a better job than security guards. ABC Stephanie Ramos is in Washington covering that part of the story. Stephanie, good morning to you. Dan and Paula, good morning. President Trump in a Keynes style speech pledged to do something about mass school shootings, starting with arming teachers with guns. He estimates that there are already enough teachers across the country that are trained on how to operate a weapon. On Friday, President Trump vowed to take action by nixing gun-free zones at schools and arming teachers with guns. Gun-free is an invitation for these crazy people to just come in and shoot. If there are guns inside held by the right people, by highly trained people, you're going to see this end. ...who did not enter... But that's a case where somebody was outside, they're trained, they didn't react properly. Coward. It was a real shot to the police department. During his meeting with the Australian Prime Minister, President Trump said an armed teacher would be more willing to protect students. A security guard doesn't know the children, doesn't love the children. The teachers love their children. They love their pupils. They love their students. Trump also changing the idea at once. To protect arming. Arming. 